Um, I'm Al Louie. I'm from the University of Miami in Florida, not the Miami University in Ohio. Um, so I got my start with mannequins in 2000 when I was a postdoc with John Endler. We were looking for, or I was looking for a study system where we can look at speciation and diversification through visual signals and relating that to environment. So then I got in touch with Micron and Rob Rumfeld, who was working with Manicus hybrid zones. And so we started working on that one, looking at female choice and looking at the light environment and so forth. But about eight years ago, I transitioned out of the mannequin world, um, even though we're still analyzing a lot of the thousands of hours of videotapes and samples that we have and continue to publish and switched to what I really, really wanted to work on uh, ever since I was a grad student and I read Meyer's book on speciation, um, the, the monarch flycatchers of the Solomon Islands. It's uh, presumably a single species that have populations that diverge in plumage color. Um, and it ranges from the nominate form that's chestnut and iridescent blue-black, and you have some population with, with a white eye patch, and have populations here in the Red Islands with a white cap, and then small islands have populations that are completely black or melanic. And then probably the, where we're really spending a lot of time now are these green islands where both melanic and chestnut birds still coexist. So what we think we have here are different stages of the speciation or diversification process where you still have a polymorphism coexisting. It starts to, to differentiate between islands and these guys are, are really dramatically different. So we have different stages within, within the clade. So we're combining um, field um, data. Um, we have uh, field experiments showing that the plumage color does matter for Ross Islands, that they use it to recognize members of their own species. And a few years ago, we started transitioning to some molecular genetics. We have Canada gene, we use Canada gene approaches to find the genes of underlying plumage differences. And of course, it was no surprise, this island was MC1R, this island was Agouti, and we still don't know about this island. And so uh, about two years ago, we started using next generation sequencing to, to get at, to find more SNPs that, that we can find that could predict plumage color, as well as really understand the evolutionary history of the group, so we're doing population genomics using RAD-seq and um, uh, uh, GBS uh, approaches. And in the next few years, we are now starting to do um, full genomes, collaborating with folks at the Med Campus to do full genome comparisons to find the genes that underline the convergent nominism <coughs> of this population we still don't know. And developmental biologists were, were we were functionally testing candidate genes, so we're using chicken, basically turning, seeing if we can turn them black if we progress our, our allele or our gene into chicken, <laughs> to, to really get at the molecular underpinnings of these variations of this color that can then result in speciation. So um, we are now dabbling into some of the genomics, and so I'm pretty excited to tag along and see what's going on. With that, that's it.